Virginia. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to roll here. And getting the call here, Griffin Canning. Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell fastball, but it's really change up and keep hitters just out in front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same Leading tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure Nikki. they get pitch recognition. Lopez. And now, Nicky Lopez. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. One strike. Lace to right center, base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Luis Robert now. The 1-1 one -one is one cut one. on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Nobody out. Runner at first. And the next pitch is way outside. Good eye right there. Slides, but it gets by him. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles, just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Pulls that one foul. The 2-2. That one missing inside. Andrew Vaughn in the on-deck circle for the White Sox. The pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Lopez on his horse coming home. The throws offline. He's safe. On the board first. It's one zip. Big RBI for him right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Andrew Vaughn now. Next offering misses, and it's three and two. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. To second for one. Out. On to first, double play. That was a much-needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. And now the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. That nope, just misses. Now two and two. It's a good take. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Run scores. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now Lenny Sosa. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Just a slow ground ball this time. They take the force out. That's the third out. But two runs for them, and they jump ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the White Sox 2 and the Angels coming up. 
back here at Angel Stadium. And today's starter, Davis Martin. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Ward. The 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball, third base side. Here's a 1-2. And a ball oh, evens the count. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Ripped to short. And he beats no, it. He That's saved. a hit. Great try there. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line. And here is number nine. Next offering is in for a strike. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just punched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Left-hand batter waits. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Ground ball base knob. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Over to third, but the throw's offline. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that AB. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Brandon Drury to the plate. Runners are at the corners, one away. Next pitch Next misses count. outside, and the count is two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Comes the two-two. Next offering Three, misses down and away. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Foul off again, and it remains three and two. Two on, one out. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. And next for L.A., Mickey Moniak. Ball to strike. The pitch. That's a base hit. Run scores. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. And here's the rookie catcher, Logan Ohapi. And he deals. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is foul back. Oh. 
In the air, center field. Robert moves under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Second inning set to go. Here's the rookie right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Dominic Fletcher. And a pitch. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Here's Corey Lee. The 1-1 is fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Back to the top of the lineup. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. The 1-1. Into left center for a base hit. The run scores from third. It's 3 1. A couple of singles back to back. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive Whoa, base hit. And a good eye there. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out That's there and talk to him just a little bit. Next pitch is in the dirt, and the count is three and one. That one is absolutely belted. That's going back. Back some more. Out of here! Grand slam! He sends it out of here. A four spot on the board. It's 7-1. Wow, what a huge at bat with the bases loaded to be able to come through with the swing like that. You know he was wishing it to stay fair. He gets the touch of all and a grand slam. Could be Number 49 into the game. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And a ground ball to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Gavin Sheets. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. That one missed. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. On the ground right side. And it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Tag and he's safe. It's a hustle double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously? We're starting with this already. Man at second here with two away. Digging in, Lenny Sosa. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Man at second. Got it by him for the K. 
Back in Anaheim, ready and to go for the last half of the goals. inning. Now, Nico Cavadas. Nico Cavadas. The pitch. Swing and a miss. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Right hander kicks deals. Down to three and two. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the righty deals. That one ripped. Back there. And it's gone. He blasts one out to center, and they inch closer. It's 7-2. He wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here's the second baseman, number 38. Misses nope. inside. Now two balls and a strike. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss there. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next one misses. Full count three and two. Come back to the mound. Sends it over to Sheets, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jordan Adams. One down, base is empty. Check swing, went around, and a count one and two. Here comes a pitch. Sends him down on strikes. Throws him with the heater at the knees. The left field. Now here is Taylor Ward. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And now two balls and a strike. One strike. And there's a the ball. Three balls, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. So two down, number nine, the next to hit for the Angels. His first at bat was a strikeout. Swing and a miss, and it's two one strike. and two. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. That 
That's a hit. Ward around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Two outs, runner at first. And now, number 18. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Kicks and deals. Runner takes off. Foul ball still a one and two count. Left hand hitter waits. Runner goes again. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Martin puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and one left. We play two full. White Sox seven and the Angels three. Back here at the ballpark. Moving top half of the, the third Sox. inning. And now Dominic Blue. Fletcher. Dominic Fletcher. The one one is fouled off. You know, these White Sox really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never able to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. Calls it in for the out. I mean, when you're chasing the opposing starter in the first inning or two, that's just such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team back on their heels, and it stills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top oh to bottom. God. Next pitch is outside. Next one is yeah, off the plate, the and that's ball three. And that's in for a strike. We got a full count. Got him looking for the K. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That one the other way. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Nothing doing for the White Sox, but they lead it by four. It's 7-3. And welcome back. Set and for the bottom of the third. Angels. Leading off, Brandon Drury. Brandon. Charlie's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. Next offering is fouled back. You know, these Angels doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Goes down looking. And now the now center fielder, Mickey Moniak. Single to right in his first trip. 3 2 now. On the ground, out to short. Lopez tosses to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. The one two. That one just misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two two. Tried to go. check his swing there. Now it appealed to first, and he held up. Here comes a three two. 
And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Angels go quietly there. They're down four. It's 7-3. Out of the fourth. And the batter now. Nicky Lopez. The shortstop. Nicky Lopez. That and misses the three. zone. And now three balls and a strike. Three oh, one, oh, and he couldn't come three. up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first Maybe base with a quick side. free pass. The center fielder. And now it's Luis, Luis Robert. Robert. Next oh, one is now. off the plate, and a count two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Kicks and fires. Eight. That one finds the zone, and it's two and two. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Roansi Contreras, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Pickoff throw, and he's back in easily. Two two now. Sets him down looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Righty delivers. And that one lifted in the air center field. Moniak tracks it down for the out. So now the DH spot, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn. One one now. And that's in for a strike. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And a 1-2 again. And that's downstairs and outside. Two and two. Caught him looking for the K. The White Sox leave one, but they still lead it 7 3. Welcome back. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Nico Cavadas. There's a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Baroa appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one gone. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove Second side base across base. the strike Let's zone, go. especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Just Oops. missed. Okay. Bounce to the right side, and it goes just foul. The pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two.
and a pitch in the air right field no trouble here puts it away for the out out number two this is important if he can go one two three here it will be a very right positive sign for Jordan. him and for his team the one one upstairs oh, now just about to hit that century mark a hundred pitches for this game Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. That one drifts inside. Back to the mound. Sends it over to Sheets. That's the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. Deficit remains at four. It's seven, three. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Groanzi Contreras. So digging in, Gavin Sheets. Hammered down the line. Could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. The throw into second. It's a double, third hit of the night for him. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Ball. Next offering upstairs. You know, these White Sox putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. And here it comes. The punch out there. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Now it's the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. At the belt and fires. That one off the mark, two and one. And that one hammered way back there. And that one is out of here. With one swing, he quiets the crowd, and they add to their lead. It's 9-3. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the lock, and gets the home run. Here's the speedy catcher, Corey Lee. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Tosses across oh. the first, and that's an out. Now batting. The third baseman. Miguel, Miguel Vargas steps Vargas. to the plate for the White Sox. The wind of the pitch. And that one ripped to left. And that is the third out of the inning. But the White Sox with a two-run homer. It's now 9-3. You're dialed into the show. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Baroa. And Number you know, 66. bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. Hey, so we'll what see how sharp he is. Your you mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. The wind and the pitch. Well, I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot next pitch misses way outside and that one fouled off back to work 3-2 now Swang and a high fly ball in the air left field. That one's back there. And that ball is out of here. 
Taylor Ward blasts one out. And they're chipping away. It's 9-4. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And now the shortstop, number nine. And a pitch. That's ball three. Three balls, one strike. And now it's filled up. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. Got him swinging. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there. And that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball. But clearly, that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. The 2 2 on the way. And another ball. The pitch. Line drive. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Up next for the Angels. The third base. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Brandon Drury. The 1 1. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Ball. Off the mark there. Ball three. Aye. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. <laughs> Right-handed reliever. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Three-two. Fights it off. He'll see another. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Angels get one with a solo homer. It's now 9-4. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Angel Stadium. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now here is Nicky Lopez. Here's a 1-1. And that one a little bit high. 2-1. That's a little bit low. On the ground, right side. And that's just foul. And here's a 3-2. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Line drive. Oh, he gloves it. Wow, that was an awesome leaping catch. Great reactions, great athleticism, and he snatched that thing out of the air, and he robbed him of a base hit. Now the number two hitter, Luis Robert.
checks the swing. Now it appeal to first, and that's going to be ruled a swing. One and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Off the mark there. And the count's even at two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And he deals. On the ground at first. He handles it himself. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit. Rolled over on it and beat it into the ground. Two outs. Base is empty. Andrew Benintendi steps to the plate for the White Sox. Here's a 1-1. Good eye in that spot. Pitch misses outside, and now three and one. Good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. That misses, and it's two and one. They say it went. Two balls, two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the center fielder, Mickey Moniak. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Number 37 up and loosening in the pen. Eller, a left-hander, also throwing. The pitch. Line drive, caught! Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. So in now for the Angels, Logan O'Hoppy. And now it's one and two. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So up next, Nico Cavadas. He's already homered here in this one. That one finds the corner. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Nice grab. Fires to first. It's there, and that's a great play. This guy's anticipation is off the charts. Don't see many shortstops better than that. Great job to complete the play and end the inning. New pitcher on now, Ryan Zephyrjohn. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Out to center. Moniac under it and puts the squeeze on that and there's one down now batting second baseman Lenny. next to hit Lenny Sosa. Sosa and now the count is even bullpen activity starting up now Ryan Miller getting ready to go Suarez, the lefty, warming up as well. Sosa started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, no swing. 
Three two now. And that's ball four. Perfect. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch and I tell you what he earned that walk. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. One ball two strikes. Good That's eye right ball. there. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses there. Full count now. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Ward makes the grab for the second out. Man at first. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Corey Lee. The 1 1. Just two. missed. Two balls, one strike. Ball. And that's a little bit high. And that's ball three. three. Ball, one strike. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Two outs. Out to short. Out number oh. three. Nothing across on no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the White Sox now. Bottom of the seventh. So in now for the Angels, number 38. The second baseman. And the right hater deals. In the air, left field. Benintendi is there. Makes the catch. One away. So digging in, Jordan right Adams. Fielder, Jordan Adams. Swing and a miss. And it's two one three. and two. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Two two down. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick him off base. Yeah, we and the defense. And breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Frazier Eller gets the ball now. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for strike three. And the Angels are gone in order. They trail it here, 9-4. Now it's going to be Miguel, Miguel Vargas. The third baseman, Miguel Vargas. And a 1-1. Out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now bad you know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Nicky Lopez. Swing and a ball popped up. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Now batting, the center fielder, Luis. Man at first, Robert. and next to hit for the Sox, Luis Robert. Robert. 
That one in for a strike, two and two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Moniak under it, and there's two away. The left fielder, number 23. Ben Intendi to the plate. Ben Intendi. And the righty deals. Misses nope. inside. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. So a man left for the White Sox. They're on top, however, 9-4. On to the bottom of the eighth, and the batter will be the shortstop, number nine. The 1-1. Line drive, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking. And these days, you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. On the corner for a strike. Two and two. No outs. Runner on second. The next pitch misses. Three and two down. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. A right-hander appears to be getting loose. Left-hand batter waits. In the air on the infield. Vargas on his way over. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batting. Brandon Drury now at the plate. Next ball offering two. is down low, and that's ball two. Into center. Robert on the move. Brings it in. Runner tags up for third. And he's up to third safely with two gone. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Here's a 1-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. That one, 95 to finish him off. Ryan Miller takes over on the mound. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. And a pitch. Got him looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Swings and misses. One, ball, one and two. two Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Two-two now. 
battling here as he fouls it away. Here comes a pitch. Helpful. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Snuck the fastball by him. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. And that one hit to first, and that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. To second, and it pulls the shortstop off the bag. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. That's nope, off the mark, the and it's two and one. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And a foul ball. He stays alive. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Sosa around third. He scores. It's 10-4. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here's the catcher, Corey Lee. Kicks and fires. That's towards center. Moniak settles under this one. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the night. It's the White Sox 10 and the Angels 4. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom and nine. Now Logan at the plate, Angels. Logan O'Hoppy. The catcher. Logan. Oh, 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. And that's down Logan. and away. Three, two. And there's ball four. Next is the now designated batting. hitter, the Nico Cavadas. Nico Cavadas. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. The pitch That's just open. misses with that one. And there's a Ten ball. Full. That one hit to right. Fletcher in position. He makes the grab. And there's one away. Up next for the Angels. And next for L.A., number 38. Michael. 
Next nope. pitch misses. Ball two. And now the lefty. And down on strikes. And now two gone. Now it's the right fielder, Jordan Adams. Ball Next two. offering is down low. Two balls, two strikes. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Two two now. In the air, left field. Ben Intendi ranging after it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the White Sox slug their way to a win in this one. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 10-4 is how it ends. Roger Dodger, ground beef control. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious White Sox. 10 runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Angels, Four runs on eight hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely.